Hey guys, it's Heather here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my channel's all about my journey to lose 80 pounds with a little bit of lifestyle peppered in between. Today's video is a December reset. I am going to go over how I did in the month of November and talk about my December goals. I'm also going to weigh in and do some measurements and show you guys some progress videos. Before I start, I want to apologize. I hope I can last through this whole video. I have actually been sick for the last week or so and I had no voice voice for a few days. I really wanted to record this last night, but I had no voice. My voice goes in and out. I've got my Hio here to drink as I go throughout the video. <clears throat> I'm already losing my voice, but we're going to do our best because this video has to get recorded and up by Sunday. So first, just a quick recap about November. Because I was sick, I was literally a sloth for a week and I didn't move. I didn't do much of anything. So when we're going through my report card, I did give myself a free pass on a lot of the goals that I had on those days just because what could I do? I was sick. I literally didn't leave my house for a few days. I did not go outside. The dogs didn't get walks. I was in my bed basically all day and I just was really concentrating on getting myself better so that I could get back to getting my habits and doing all the things that I need to do every day. Another thing is my period came a little early, um, a couple days early, which I was not expecting and my intermittent fasting got screwed up the first couple of days of my period because of it, but I did get myself back on track. Also Thanksgiving, I did kind of let myself eat what I wanted. I didn't go overboard. I think I did really well actually. I was allowing myself to eat what I wanted. I just had to track it. I had a little bit of everything. I had a piece of pie and I had one small drink. I had a margarita that my niece made. About six ounces I'd say. This is just an estimate of the calories but it looks like I ate about 2,239 calories that day. I did eat before I went because we didn't have the, our Thanksgiving meal until like 5 30 so I did eat breakfast and I also worked out pretty hard that day I did two walks and my workout so overall not too bad of a day this month was just kind of a weird month with the holiday and with my period and then I was also a little emotional about a few things and then I got sick at the end but we're still gonna go over my report card it's not as bad as I thought it was but my question is would it have been this good had I not given myself a free pass for the week that I was sick but we'll talk about that in a little bit First, we'll go over my daily goals. The first goal was to get at least 8,000 steps every day. I did do pretty good on this goal. I got that 23 out of 30 days, which is 77%. My next goal was to stay under 1,550 calories. I got that 19 out of 30 days, which was 63%, which again, not bad. I think with all of these goals, I improved just a little bit from last month. My water, I actually did a lot better this month. And it's still not good. I'm still not drinking enough, but I'm working on it. My goal is to hit 40 ounces of water a day. I'm slowly going to increase that over time as I get used to drinking more water. And I got 40 ounces, 16 out of 30 days, which was 53%, which is much better than last month. I think I got like nine days out of the 31 days. So my next goal was to get 85 grams of protein every day. I got that 21 out of 30 days, which is 70%. For some reason, I found it a little harder to get the 85 grams of protein this month. And I think that's just because I wasn't doing a good job of planning my weekly meals. I kind of just threw things together. If you know me, I am a planner and I do like to meal prep. I have not meal prepped in a long time. I'm gonna have to really plan it a little bit better for next month. Intermittent fasting, I did a little bit better this month. Like I said, my period came like two days early and I was not expecting it, so it kind of caught me off guard and I wasn't prepared. I had eaten later in the night, the night prior, and then in the morning I ate my normal breakfast and then my period came that day. So, well, automatically I didn't get the intermittent fasting the first day. And then the second day I didn't either because it, I think it was a weekend and I wasn't able to with my schedule. I missed a few days in there in the beginning, but I did get myself back on track. I hit that goal 24 out of 30 days, which is 80%, so better than last month. Another goal of mine was to get 2.25 miles of walking in every day. I got that 25 out of 30 days, which is 83%. Would I have gotten that had I not given myself those free passes for about 
I think it was four days that I gave myself a free pass. I don't know. And we're gonna have to try again next month. And then my last daily goal is to cook or eat at home every day. I did that 24 out of 30 days, which is 80%. So again, another improvement from last month. Next, we'll go over my weekly goals. I did not do so good on these weekly goals. Also, because of the way the calendar lines up, it's technically five months in November, but when I'm filming this, it's Thursday. I can't really count the last week or the fifth week. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to include it in next month's video. So my weekly calorie goal, I basically did 1,550 calories times seven. That means I needed to get below 10,850 calories a week. I got that zero weeks. Not good. Because of Thanksgiving, and then I had one week where I was kind of going through some emotional things, and I didn't do so well. I think there were three days where I ate out and I overate. I didn't binge, I just ate too much. I think I ate around 2,000 calories those days. And that kind of ruined that goal. I really, really do need to work on getting my calorie goal because that's the most important goal when it comes to weight loss. My next goal was to strength train four to six times a week. And it's that range because in the beginning of the month, I was in phase two of the STS 2.0 program. And then I moved into phase three. And then my active rest week was a freebie week. And I only got this two out of four weeks. The last week of phase two, I missed one of my workouts. I missed the last workout, the lower body workout. So I did not get in that week. And then for phase three, I had decided to do one body part per day and I missed one workout in there. It was a Tuesday. I had something come up again and I wasn't able to work out because I work in the office on Tuesday and then I had to go straight to the other thing that I went to that night. So I didn't have time. And the plan was to combine a body part with another body part on another day to try to catch up. Things just kept popping up that week and it just never happened. And then I just got behind and then I got sick. So it was just a big mess. So my plan for next month, I moved all of my workouts to the following week. Thankfully I had an extra week in there at the end of the month to move all my workouts so that I can redo the second week of the third phase, if that makes any sense. I hope it made sense. All that to say, I got two out of four weeks, which I'm not happy with. Another goal was to lose half a pound a week, and I did do that three out of four weeks. I'll come back to that during the weigh-in portion of the video. And then finally, a weekly goal was to hit 15.75 miles. I only hit that one out of four weeks. There were days where I missed it, again, during my emotional time. The week of Thanksgiving, I was, I think I was starting to get sick and I was like super tired, and there were days when I wasn't doing the full 2.25 miles and that kind of brought my totals down for certain weeks. And now I'll move into the monthly goals. Monthly goals, again, I counted 1,550 calories times 30 because there's 30 days in November. My goal was to get below 46,500 calories. I did not hit that goal. I was a little close. My total calories for the month was 49,780. I don't think that total is as good as last month. Again, because calories are the most important part of a weight loss journey. I really screwed that up this month. Another monthly goal was to hit 67.5 miles. Because of the freebie, I got 60.65 miles. If we don't count the freebies, I gave myself 2.25 miles for each day I was sick, which was four days. If you want to know how I did without those freebies, I subtracted nine miles out of that. So I would have gotten 51.65 miles. Again, not as good as last month. Now for the weigh-in portion of the video. My goal was to lose again two pounds this month. I started the month at 170 pounds even, and I ended the month at 167.6, which means I lost a total of 2.4 pounds. I'm actually a little disappointed because I actually hit 166.8 on the 21st of November, and I think I went up a little bit. I was a little bloated because Shark Week was coming up, and I didn't know that. I didn't know it was so close. I actually gained a little weight. I think it was probably water weight. I'm probably less than that, but I'm gonna go with the 167.6 because that's what I recorded and that's technically my final weigh-in of the month. Another couple things I wanted to go over that I kind of had goals for. For my active rest week last month, October, I did not do anything on my during my active rest week. I didn't do so good on planning on my part and I ended up doing nothing. I did a little better. I wanted to do at least one more workout that week, but I ended up doing three workouts. I did a circuit workout, I did a cardio workout, and then I also did a stretch yoga workout. 
workout. I still stayed active that week. I still walked that week. So I'm happy with that. And then another thing I wanted to do was get 20 pound dumbbells. I was a little low on the money last month, but I do plan on going this week to Target to get those 20 pound dumbbells. Another thing I wanted to kind of mention, I had mentioned in last month's reset video that I wanted to do some habit stacking to help me get my water goal and my intermittent fasting goal into a better place. And I think that went really well and I'm going to continue to do it. For my water goal, I'm habit stacking and having a glass of water in the morning and at night, stacking it onto my morning and evening routines, and then also stacking it onto my daily walks. So I have a half a glass before a walk and half a glass after a walk. That really has been helping me get my water goal. As you saw, I did much better this month than I did last month, and I hope that continues to improve. And then for the intermittent fasting, I mentioned that I wanted to add something on my calendar, kind of like a cheat sheet on where I am in my cycle and how many hours that I need to fast depending on what day I'm in on my cycle and that really helped too. All I had to do was check my calendar. Right now I'm on day three of my period which means I fast for 13 hours and I only had to look in one spot for that. That helped a lot and I do plan on doing that next month. All right, so my measurements are a little interesting. As you can see, I lost and gained some in different areas with an overall increase of 3.3 inches. To be honest, I'm going to chalk it up to not measuring in the same spots because it just doesn't make sense that I would gain inches while losing weight, but there were increases in some and decreases in other areas. So maybe there's an increase in a little bit of muscle mass. I just don't think it's that much to cause a increase in inches, but who knows? We'll see what happens next month and go from there. I'll try my best to be as accurate as possible with my measurements going forward. Here are my progress videos. There really isn't much of a difference when you compare month to month, especially after seeing the change in measurements and with such a small amount of weight lost. However, I will tack on my before before shot so you can see the difference from the very beginning, which does have a good difference. So my December goals. I am going to keep this short and sweet because I am keeping everything the same. And I basically want December to be my redemption month because I kind of screwed up November. I had a couple unfortunate things happen. December will be my redemption month. Just a couple notes. Again, I am going to be adjusting my schedule for the STS phase three program. I'm moving everything back a week. I'll still be doing one body part a day and adding in cardio on four or five days out of the week. And those are short cardio days. Days. My cardio has been about 20 to 35 minutes or so and I tack that on at the end of my weight workout And then of course I do still need to buy the 20 pound dumbbells Another thing I wanted to mention before I close out the video I do have some exciting things coming up The new year is coming and we all know that means that goals and vision boards and words of the year And those sorts of things are going to be happening I did do a series I think in 2020 and I do plan on doing a mini series Some sort of version of that my new year's goals and my word of the year and making a vision board and those sorts of things. And then also I'll have a new series beginning in January when I'm going to be starting another program, which I will be talking about in videos to come. So I'm excited about what's to come to the channel. I hope you guys are too. Thanks for stopping by and I think that's it. That's a wrap on the December reset and I will see you guys back here next week. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you then. Bye.